there is a place in space in which gravity forgets all rules and becomes wild. Gravity turns into something so extreme that it annihilates all surrounding forces and beings. Unavoidable and inescapable, the destructive entity of the black hole is the most uncontrollable force that exists within our universe. Though not a literal hole, but a bundle of extremely dense matter, black holes are so powerful that not even light can withstand its energy. Black holes were first theorized by French mathematician Pierre-Simon Laplace. In his view, the existence of black holes was logical, as the larger the object, the larger the gravitational pull on its surface. Laplace suggested that there could be massive stars whose gravity is so great that not even light could escape from their surface. Laplace did not know how right he was about the existence of this unyielding force. This theory would not be picked up until American theoretical physicist James Archibald Wheeler coined the term black hole in 1967 in a speech at NASA discussing general relativity and gravitational collapse. Since then, the term black hole came to apply to any type of mysterious, bottomless pit that would only serve a purpose of destruction within the universe. What has fascinated the minds of science fiction writers couldn't be further from the truth as not even particles or electromagnetic radiation can escape its gravitational pull. Black holes vary in size with many scientists believing that some are as small as an atom but possessing the gravitational pull of a mountain. The second size category is stellar, which holds up to 20 times the mass of the sun. Lastly. The largest size is the supermassive, which have the mass of up to one million suns, and scientists now believe that these kinds of black holes are at the center of every galaxy. This rule applies to our very own Milky Way galaxy, which is home to the super black hole Sagittarius A, with an estimated mass equal to four million suns. However, these destructive forces are numerous, with billions occupying a space in the universe, but they have been a constant presence since the formation of the universe. Many scientists believe that the smallest versions of black holes existed when the universe first developed. With regards to stellar black holes, their existence is a result of the center of a large star falling in on itself, creating a supernova, or exploding star that fires part of the star out into space. Though less is known about supermassive black holes, many scientists theorize that, like small black holes, they too have existed since the beginning of the universe. Though we are unable to see black holes in space, the artist's impressions perhaps exaggerate. It is possibly to identify where they originate from by using satellites and telescopes that travel through space, it is possible to locate and learn more about black holes, which then lead on to answering the multitude of questions that scientists have regarding the universe we live in. The first step in locating a black hole is by monitoring the gravitational pull. For example, in the Milky Way, a dark spot where all the stars encircle around it as if they were orbiting a really dense mass. The second method of determining where a black hole is is by observing the matter that falls into the black hole. As this matter goes into the black hole, it settles in a disk around the center of the destruction. Some of this energy is liberated from falling in, however, and then is turned into light which then allows scientists and observers to find the black hole via X-ray technology. According to Peter Sutter, an astrophysicist at the Ohio State University and chief scientist at Kosi Science Center, black holes are one of the ultimate paradoxes of nature, as the rules which were used to classify them also mean that they should not in fact exist. But according to Sutter, this is in large part a result of how incomplete knowledge of general relativity 
the main theoretical model used. Understanding strong levels of gravity at small scales and despite decades of trying to, quantum theory of gravity still has not been torn apart and understood. But can black holes die? What happens when all the energy has been consumed? Black holes don't die, but turn into something else entirely. One of these methods is Hawking radiation. When something goes beyond the event horizon in a black hole, then it no longer exists in the universe. Particles have been known to appear on the far side of the barrier of a black hole. When a particle is created, an antiparticle is also created, and if these touch, they destroy each other. However, if a particle is created at the event horizon, one of the particles will be sucked in while the other particle escapes. If the antiparticle is the one to get sucked into the black hole, then the particle becomes real and has a radiation around it. This is Hawking radiation. The resulting effect on the black hole is that it is leaking actual radiation which in turn makes the black hole start to shrink and eventually waste away. The second method involves the horizon fluctuating. The edge of a black hole causes quantum effects to go feral. The particles previously mentioned cause the event horizon to fluctuate, and the entire being of the black hole begins to flicker, grow, and shrink. With enough of this fluctuation of the horizon, the black hole will fizzle out. Space, again, provides us with a paradox. The continued existence of black holes brings with it questions about why our universe is the way it is, and the existence of this cataclysmic force forces scientists and observers to rethink what we know of gravitational theory. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share, comment, and like.